going to try a new blood splatter effect on fabric. I went to Artisan Craftsman and picked up some supplies. So what I have here is some Dynaflow, Brilliant Red, I have uh, Violet and Burnt Umber in the Dynaflow, and I have uh, these textile paints, which I'm going to try to use. It's a True Red and a brown. So these are the paints I'm going to be using as well as fill out this board that I've made. So I'm going to start with the brush texture using the textile paint and then do the Dynaflow using the Dynaflow paint and I'm going to mix colors. This is a piece of cotton tweed so that's the material I'm using um, and let's see how it works out. So let's check that out. All right, well, now it's time to try the Dynaflow. Now I'm gonna do splatter with the textile paint and the Dynaflow, and then the textile paint with water and the Dynaflow with water. So I have the Dynaflow textile splatter done. I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna finish off with some drips. The Dynaflow that's been watered down a little bit. And an eye dripper. Flow in the syringe as well. All right, well, I'm all finished and this is what everything looks like. There's the dyno flow with the drip technique. There's the textile paint watered down with drip technique. You have the brush techniques, dyno flow and textile. You have a few splatter techniques. Now I gotta clean up what a mess. There is red paint everywhere. Oh well. 
the price for doing experiments. The directions say to iron the back of the fabric, so that is the next plan. Time to iron. Now that I'm done ironing, I'm gonna put it through the wash test. After being dried, this is what it looks like. You can see we lost a lot of the darker red colors, but I'll show you what each one looks like separately. All right, well, that's the end of this project. Till next time. Comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next adventure.